Hey guys, Ruth Lucario here. And I'm gonna demonstrate a few tips on how to clean up your com computer. There's many ways of doing this. You could use sea cleaner for one. Now what this is this is not It's already closed. Do a health check. I guess that's its way of saying a quick clean or a quick scan. I don't know. I don't know what a quick clean is, but that's probably its way of saying that. The pro version is just added security, which, if you're like me, you really don't need. But if you're someone with small children, you can get it. I don't know if it provides a firewall, because it's just a free cleaning tool that you can use. You really don't have to upgrade. Unless you want to do whatever this pro thing does. <sighs> Unless you wanted to take care of whatever this pro thing does, but other than that, your best can do custom clean it's an option it does free up some space Yeah, paper. You have something that works like install programs feature, like the one and control panel, or you can use the control panel. There's a software updater, I think it updates software. There's, there's one that can disable things from startup. And enable things from startup. There are browser plugins. I don't know what that does. Probably shows 
the browser plugins and allows you to enable or disable them. There's your disk analyzer. Duplicate folder. It's also a drive wiper. which it wipes a drive it's also a registry cleaner which it it's nice that it asks You can scan certain areas that that have things that you don't need and then now back to where it was. You can clean browsers as long as the browsers are closed. But be careful when doing a custom clean because you'll never know what you're going to delete. It's a duplicate finder. I think it finds things. I think it finds duplicate folders and drives. I honestly don't know what that's supposed to do. You can delete, disable, and enable. Um, ad blockers and stuff. And other plug pl browser plugins. There are things, and you can pretty much that covers that way. Another way you can um, do it is go to control panel very famous way to remove stuff and see you can see your list of programs you can uninstall it 
non-install program you can also use an antivirus or you can type and remove stuff from from these folders which I always advise you to make backups in your registry because once you change the registry that's it You could reinstall Windows or get a new version of Windows, which I highly don't recommend. You should be happy for what you got. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. I hope this helped you understand how to get rid of some space on your computer. Bye for now. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell and then click all. For, for more future content when I upload new videos.